Well, that wasn't too terrible. That's actually the first time that I've taken an S550 dash apart. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. So guys, today what we're doing is a couple of things. Very famous modification that everybody does to their cars, their manual cars, and that is a Steeda clutch spring. Now this is a Mach 1. The clutch in this though feels pretty much like a GT, not like a GT350. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but that'll be, I guess, in the back half of the video because the primary focus for today is one of these guys. I've been a big fan of these for a long time many years and I've just never ever had one. You know we're doing things different with the Mach 1 so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel make sure that you are staying tuned because we're going to boost the Mach 1 and this is part of it. I wanted to get this done before going into the engine and uh, changing things. It's a multi display gauge from P3. P3 is pretty much the bread and butter when it comes to these guys. Okay so what is a P3 gauge? You guys may not actually be that familiar. So it's going to sit in one of the air vents so you're still going to have the function of the air vent which is really Really cool and it's gonna look as OEM as possible and that was a big deal to me because it's a Mach 1 it's a special car and I did not want to start hacking this thing up I wanted to be able to use the functionality of an aftermarket gauge and this delivers on both of those so a couple things that uh, well really a bunch of different things that this is gonna offer is uh, things like coolant temperature air fuel ratio boost and vacuum engine rpm programmable shift lights so we're gonna go through all of the different things but what I think is gonna be cool is my line of sight drag racing or you're maybe road course racing, you're always gonna have line of sight of this vent pod. So let's get it installed and explore some of the functionality because this thing is very intuitive and it's cost effective. And by the way, is go to p3gauges.com. So I'll link everything down below. Let them know that I sent you, that you saw this video and that I sent you directly and they will be able to hook you up. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the list because I don't wanna miss anything. So boost, coolant temperature, air fuel ratio, vehicle speed, IETs, throttle angle, ignition timing, um, engine RPM, exhaust, gas temperature, maybe your turbo car. Oh, by the way, this thing is Upgradable. This is what's going to plug into the OBD2 port, but there's got a bunch of different extra wires on here. Why? Well, because things like maybe an ethanol sensor if you're running E85. So if you have a boost reference coming from the engine bay inside to this gauge, it will work. So the Mach 1 is a little bit different on color. So when you order these, you can get just the gauge itself or you can get them with chrome trim. Now the Mach 1 is kind of a special car, so it has a different, uh, like a brushed aluminum finish to the uh, pods here. Anyway, so we're gonna change that out, but cool that they sent me this anyway. Uh, we're just gonna have to, you know, exchange it for uh, this other color, but no big deal. But if you want to just get the gauge by itself, you can buy it that way, or you can get it pre-assembled like this, so it just drops in, which I think is pretty cool. Squeeze and push, and squeeze and push, so four. I'll show you in a second, so it makes more sense, but. I've never done this before. <laughs> this is kinda new. I need like four hands. Let's go, let's go. There we go, all right, so. You know, it's split apart, so. All right, we're not gonna use this anymore, so we're gonna do the same thing the other side and uh, throw it all back together. If you see this uh, this portion here with that raised section right there, that is, there's four of those. I think it's one, two, three, and four. Yeah, so those are what you're gonna squeeze to get it out of the dash piece. But then you have this other section right here. That's what that looks like. So you're gonna lift and then probably have to try to do, again, just like the other multiple at the same time, if possible, get it to slide out a little bit like I'm doing now, keep pressure, and then we're gonna work our way around. There we go, all right, so. Puts in half, just like that. Really simple. If uh, you just ordered the gauge by itself, you would uh, just take this a step further and split this in half, and then the other gauge will install. All right, so check this out. You see how it's not even all the way around. So this longer section up here is gonna go towards the top. All right, so once you have this back together, which you think is really cool, and I didn't even think about this, um, functionality still works, but you also have movement back and forth like this. This is the way that they operate it's so a way that this thing operates from the factory, right? So you don't lose that functionality. So you're not stuck in like one position. You can still turn it. It will turn the gauge on the bottom as well. It's good that we still have that feature. So you're not gonna lose your airflow. You know, hot or cold, this is all protected back here, sealed up. So, you know, gonna protect from any condensation or anything like that from your AC. So no big deal. But I think that this thing is, uh, is pretty sweet, man. So, all right, all we have to really do now, speed this through the dash. Pop this back down, throw it in the car, and then snap, snap, goes back together real fast. Right through there on that corner, perfect. Because we're, uh, we're going from this corner through that corner, feeding down through. And then we just gotta plug this up. Oh, this is gonna look freaking killer, dude. 
All right, like I said, it comes with different options. So this is what's going to go into your OBD2 port. They also make a uh, connection piece that allows for two of these. So you plug one in, and then this will feed your gauge, and then you can plug in like another um, scanner or uh, a tuner of some kind into the uh, separate port. Pretty cool that they have different options to allow you to do that. But anyways, here's the other piece of the pie. All these are the wires and stuff like that. Uh, allow you different options like ethanol sensors or uh, you know boost lines or anything like that so our next step is gonna be how are we going to route this this connecting piece down through the dash down here so I'm gonna have to figure this out I think we're just gonna straight back through some of this cavity back here right there and then this will just snap back in place so I've got uh, just to figure out how to route that up and hide it up underneath all those wires and everything but we are plugged up and I'm gonna give it an engine start because you do have to have the engine running for the gauge to function so let's give it a test Good to go and you can see you got the, the white LED that kind of matches everything else it's got zero to 60 timer and all that other stuff but here's the cool thing boost so I'm gonna have to get a uh, boost reference that'll plug down into there and then up into the engine bay whenever we install our new boost but let's keep going see what it has coolant so 177 matches 177 177 perfect but i wanted this primarily for the boost option so anyway let's keep going exhaust gas temperatures if you are a turbo car this is going to be very important air fuel also something extremely important to watch lots of lots of different things that you can do so ready and then i'll have to go through the instructions to figure out actually how that works but really cool that it is offered but boost is really one i wanted to see uh from a gauge like this but it's right there in your line of sight so i put the camera right up here to my eyes this is what you see this is absolutely brilliant and we still have the functionality of the vent itself so i've got the ac on right now and it's blowing through just fine looks oem factory and the cool thing is that they just don't make these for Camaro and Mustangs. So a lot of different cars that you guys have out there, like, like let's say F-150s, which I also have a 21 F-150, they are coming out with one of these for that truck, which is something I cannot wait for. It's but really cool to see the availability of these for different makes and models. And then we're also gonna install that little clutch spring and then put it on the road and see how it does because the Mach 1, again, is a little bit different. We have all different transmissions. So I wanna see how that feels and then, you know, explore how this looks while we're driving okay something else too if you made it this far in the video then congratulations because you're looking at this right here so one of the things that the mock ones don't come with is this logo designer right here this is actually aftermarket and a lot of people a ton of you guys are asking me where i got this because what's in place of that is just a standard pony on the airbag itself so this is a big sticker honestly it's a big 3d sticker and it matches perfectly our dash black perfect text perfect fitment everything and it comes from the badge king on facebook so let the badge king also know that i sent you so that they can hook you up on something like this and it's not just mach 1 stuff they have they make all kinds of different things the 50 emblems on the side on the backs all kinds of really cool stuff i've used them in the past and will continue doing so in the future all right let's go for a spin real quick i just want to feel the uh the clutch and then show how the gauge looks and everything i can tell you this this clutch feels way different it's been a while since i've owned a manual mustang that feels a little bit more heavy than oem but let's give it a shot because uh yeah clutch engagement is way way better all right so that's snappy This definitely feels like a whole new car now. All right, let's see if we can do this one-handed. I think it'll be fine if we keep a steady speed, but this is how everything looks. So right here, my line of sight, I got the camera like right up to my eyeballs. So I'm looking through the camera lens. Pretty unsafe, but this is how everything looks. So right there, dead line of sight to the gauge. And remember, we have different functions. You can go through your zero to 60 timer. You can set all that up. Of course, once we set it up, there's your boost so on and so forth and it directly matches everything over here so but anyway but you could run different gauges so like for example if you wanted to watch like this then you still have access to an additional one over here so i think it's brilliant i love the way that it looks in the interior i mean that looks oem factory 
um, honestly, 100%. So, and again, it doesn't cost too much money, but really cool that we have this. And, uh, it, you know, the text matches everything else in the uh, interior. So it doesn't really look aftermarket, which is, I think, a very important thing. So this also has a zero to 100 timer as well. Boost, let's see here. Click the left, there's your recall. So if, um, when this is all hooked up and everything, as you go through the different options, so for example, recall, it'll it'll flash right there. This, these have shift lights here, but you can also set one up over here as well. So just, you know, again, more functionality, but this is the interior now of the Mach 1. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude the video. I think that you should definitely go check out P3 gauges. Again, links down below in the description. Let them know that you saw this video. Let them know that I sent you directly so they can give you a good deal on these gauges. I think that it's a home run. I, th I think I've said that a million times in the video, but I am really, really impressed with this. The features and benefits to the, the actual cost of this device, I think it's it's brilliant. And the install is like a 30 minute thing. It's really simple. Uh, just plug and play. I mean, this is, it's, it's amazing. The clutch also feels good. Uh, definitely transforms the way that the entire car feels. It feels like it sped up my shifts a little bit because the engagement is a little faster and a little easier and smoother. So um, definitely <laughs> $25 there, well spent. And uh, all right, that's gonna be this video. So stay tuned to the next one we have more things coming more big things coming to the Mach 1 and I appreciate all of you guys out there God bless every single one of you I'll see you next time goodbye